right, doing an upgrade here to the computer. We got the 861 terabyte SSD, and we also have the GeForce GTX 660 Super. Been having a lot of problems with Premiere Pro kind of, you know, freezing up and slow rendering times and it hanging. And I got a GTX 770 in there. That's a pretty old card, so this is a much newer card. Also, always have issues with the data, you know, the, uh, the amount of assets that I build up uh, as far as videos and stock footage. Always nice to have a one terabyte solid state drive and then uh, be able to edit off of that definitely speeds things up uh, so between these two items I should see quite a bit of improvement in performance on deck I have the i7 32 gigs of RAM so that's what we got there's the stats at the bottom there and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna install both these components and we'll see you after the video so here's the machine here we got a power supply 600 watts plenty enough there um, I pulled out the uh, normally your hard drives go here I pulled all that stuff out so we have a nice airflow coming in here uh, radiant cooler water radiator and then one big fan radiator going out of the back there we have four sticks of ram eight gigs a piece solid state drives are up front there and then we got a couple of two terabyte spinning hard drives yes they're antiques um, but it's always good to have one I use one for backup and one for archives so old footage gets put in the archive two terabytes each on those drives and then of course in the front of the case we have that one fan pushing air in and then we have the uh, two solid state drives we have the system which is 500 gig solid state drive and then the data which is 500 gig solid state drive and then of course we're going to be adding the one terabyte solid state drive there's the old graphics card right there the geforce 770 so this is a very old card so basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove this card and then we're going to install the new uh, gtx 1660 also i don't know if you can see it there but we have a n.2 drive 250 50 gigabit uh, m.2 drive and i'm using that for scratch uh, scratch disc uh, it's faster than shit and it really works well for a scratch disc for premiere pro because you need a fast drive um, but i would like to eventually upgrade this to possibly a 500 gig or possibly a one terabyte to use that for my data assets uh video stock footage as well really fast this is a bit of an older board it's an asus uh, there it is right there that's the model number there also uh, on the front of the case this is the cooler master which is in my opinion the best case you can get I've tried other cases and I keep going back to this case pretty old case but I love the fact that you can just slide these you know you got to get some adapters these are five and quarter slots but the third solid state drive the one terabyte is going to be sliding in right there there's the back of the case there and uh, yeah let's get started so there they are all labeled up we got the system drive 500 gig there we got the project drive 500 gig as well and we have the data drive at one terabyte or 1000 gig and you can also see on the spine we also have a label and again this this stuff isn't necessary it's just my own uh neurosis it makes me feel better i just put a lot of love into it and so let's uh let's get these drives installed you'll notice also I actually chose to put the uh, system drive on the uh black one just so i can quickly tell all three drives in there we got the data the project and the system right there we got them all all dialed in there there they are there um, I got rid of the uh, DVD drive I'm just kind of I don't really need it and because uh, the SATA cable right here uh, bends down the DVD drive is gonna hit it and then uh, here's uh, the back side there you see the uh, the white cables rather are the six gigabit uh, ports and then the black cables are the three gigabit ports and again we have the uh, the system uh, at six gigabit and the data at six gigabit and then of course the uh, the project and uh, uh, edits are going to be at three a gigabit. So next up, we're gonna we're gonna take this uh, GeForce GTX 770 out and replace it with the 1660s. All right, so there we go. We got the old uh, GTX 770 out. It's actually in pretty good condition. I don't know. I might try to sell this card. And then here's the new card, the 1660. You see, this card's actually much smaller, much smaller card. So that'll be kind of nice because I know this one uh, when it was in the system, I actually built a, a little thing right here. You can see this. Uh, I actually built this uh, bracket just because the card was was just leaning down. I mean, I, when the, when the machine was upright, it was the card was just kind of hanging down. I didn't like the look of it, so I actually built this bracket to help hold the card up because it was just such a big card and it kind of uh, leaned down a little bit and put a lot of pressure on the uh, on the port there. And then there's the uh, model number there, the ASUS right there. So yeah, that's what we got right there. We're gonna dust this thing out a little bit and put the graphics card in. Throw that 1660 in here. It should actually probably 
actually fit and yeah, work out a lot better. Just get rid of that bracket because I don't think I'm going to need it. All right, there it is. There's the new graphics card right there. Um, look at that. It fits much, much better. I could get rid of that, that bracket right there. I still got to take that screw out. But yeah, also this is an 8-pin. My other graphics card was like a 14-pin or something. So 8-pin. So I'm able to take the other 8-pins uh, for my power supply and kind of bolt those down, get them out of the way. But yeah, much smaller card here. Much smaller smaller GPU uh, really fits in there very well even a nicer airflow with less uh, mass I guess in the case and I got the old graphics card I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that let me know comment below maybe I'll sell it to you I might sell it on eBay or something it's a good graphics card look how fast that shit's going that's crazy I never seen it go that fast There it goes. It's chopping away. It's chopping away. Look at that. GPU 78, 90, or uh, 80%. Look at that CPU 96. And the GPU is at 70, 80%. Holy cow. So they're working together. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's rendering pretty pretty fast considering there's a lot of a lot of effects um, it's going pretty fast actually and I'm rendering right out of Premiere Pro you can kind of see the timeline here here let's move this so you can actually see the timeline see what we're working with um, let's actually uh, you can't you can't see it but um, shit yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of layers there and then this extends on i'm not sure how long this is this is actually probably a i don't know i'd say five six minutes but it's a lot of layers and a lot of effects um look at that it's at 81 percent already let's bring that task manager back up oh yeah gpu's down now oh went back up 60 percent 70 percent CPU sitting up there at 100. Yeah. Very cool. It's pretty much done. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Holy crap. Just biting off that last little bit. But yeah, that's... Uh, it's probably two minutes. I mean, it started recording this right when it started rendering. Of course, it has to uh, get the previews up first. There it is, it's done. Here, I'll let you take a look at the timeline so we can see how long this thing is here. Yeah, 547, so that was a six minute uh, timeline, but you can see there's a lot of layers there. A lot of layers. There's a, an audio layer. Uh, yeah, there's uh, three audio layers, and then we got one, two, three four five six video layers so you know pretty chunky and it did it in about two minutes so that's pretty good that's better than real time all right check it out man that's it the uh 1660 super gtx 1660 super that's on that is on the game right there all right